Hello. Welcome to our channel. But as you can see, I'm not in the van. Um, just want to, you know, before I start, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm moaning a little bit. I'm having a bit of a rant, you know. But hey, this channel, I believe, should be real, and it is real, and that's just, that's just me, you know. Um, I thought I'd uh, update you on what happened. Yeah. <sighs> And I, I am gonna make an apology for my language because I just feel like just you know, just feel like being me. Um pretty fucked off to be honest. Excuse the French, but just am. It's just you know, I'm not I'm trying not to be a defeatist, but I mean how much shit have you gotta be thrown at you to, to to take, you know? Um anyway, enough of that uh, waffle and dribble. Um also, at the end of this video, there will be some photos of the van, and there's going to be a video uh, of what happened at the end of the video. Um, but basically, in a nutshell, as you saw the last vlog during that day, when, you know, I picked up two of my mates, um, two other members of the Stitching Time team, you know, Juan and uh, Jimmy, and do you know what? We went out, we did about... 90 miles in that van cruised everywhere you know the excitement it was it was fantastic do you know what it was such a fantastic uh van to drive and um you know enjoying it filled it right up to the brim you know <laughs> which in them wagons is not cheap but i filled it up i think it was about 125 i think um but yeah she's full of diesel you know she was motoring along, no problem. Um, apart from the glow plug light, you know, she still started, she still went, you know, no problem. Excuse me. That's definitely me. Oh, got to have a cup of tea, and you—you you probably guessed that I'm—I'm I'm actually uh, sitting in bed. Because I just, one of them moments, you know, just want to curl up and just uh, chill out. But anyway, I'll get started. I'm waffling on too much. Um, basically speaking, was motoring around all day. Then it was time, it was getting dark and it was raining, it was miserable. And I dropped one of, I dropped one of my friends off and then I was coming along the motorway, come off the motorway. And I went to, uh, stopped at the, you know, I was going to, first, hang on, first of all, I was going through one town, and I thought, ooh, you know, it's a bit hard to, driving was getting a bit hard to do. And um, I got to this junction. Now, bearing in mind, I've got to explain it to you. Sorry, this is going to be a long one, guys, but I need to explain it to you. You've got two lanes going off that way. It's, you know... Uh, you've got two lanes by the left, two lanes in the middle, uh, but those other ones you can turn right on. And you've got the same amount each side. It's a very busy junction, and it's got a big yellow junction box, zigzag, you know, yellow box in the middle where you're not supposed to stay. Right, now I've got that out of the way. I got to the lights. There's two lanes. I'm in the left hand lane. I stopped. Went to put it into first. Would it fucking go in first? Would it fuck? I'm revving it. I'm giving it some welly. I'm trying second. I'm really ramming it. Trying to ram it in gear to try and get out of the way. It wouldn't fucking move. And I thought, oh shit. I just, you know, 24 hours. 24 hours of being on the road and this happens. I, you know, it's just tired. I'm tired of it. Um, anyway, I managed to edge my way for it jerked forward a bit and then, and then just wouldn't move. Now bear in mind, this is eight o'clock in the evening. It's very busy because it's near, all I'm going to say, it's near Heathrow airport. Let's put it that way. Um, now 
eight o'clock this happened. I'm right. I'm sitting right in the junction at an angle. Every single flow of traffic has to go round me. Now, bearing in mind, you guys, whether you know or whether you don't know, I've got a heart condition and I need to stay calm. And me and my mate, we're stuck in the middle of the road. We can't get out of the van because it's too dangerous because we could get end up getting hit. And there's Arctic lorries going all the time and everything else anyway. I phones up, 8 o'clock. Um, the, the recovery lorry. The rec Sorry, uh, forgive me guys. I phoned the, the, the breakdown service. They took all my details. She says to me, we're not you're not on our system I thought, uh, if I didn't have any bad luck I'd have no luck at all um, but that's by the by sorted it out got the details she said yeah 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 give me five minutes go, go phone me back and uh, she said oh you know what's the problem I told her and as I was on the phone to her now bearing in mind I record all my phone calls um, I said to her look you need to get someone out quick because I am, I'm not going to go too much into it, guys, but I am classed as a, a priority customer, okay? <laughs> and I'm sitting there, I can feel the pains in my chest going down my left arm, and I'm thinking, don't you fucking dare, don't dare. And I'm trying to calm down, and I've got these two two guys, they've stopped right next to us. One's obviously cut the other one up, and they've got out of the car and started punching 10 cent tons of shit out of each other and I'm thinking oh god oh my god oh my god next thing I know the guys looked over at us and started coming over and thumping and kicking the door I've locked the doors and by this time I'm able to use my spray and it's just and she can hear it on the phone I'm saying look get the police down here get the breakdown lorry down here now I need assistance anyway oh Bill didn't turn up no one I just ignored them they went off in their own steam, but I've got a dent in the door now. Um, the old Bill were phoned, but they didn't respond. Typical. Useless. Um, uh, the lady phoned me back and said, look, 20, 10 minutes for a text. ETA arrival. 20 minutes max, you'll be waiting. Okay. I waited there an hour in the freezing cold in this van. Next thing I know, I get a text saying, now bear in mind, I phoned them at 8 o'clock. Oh, um, your driver's going to be with you at 20 to 11. I thought, are you fucking kidding me? I'm not having that. Got back on the phone, spoke to a guy called Liam, who I've actually made a complaint against. Basically, he, I was, I gave him six times I told him where I was, the locations, landmarks, Everything, name of the road, everything, six times clearly. And the destination where I was going, because of where my van's, I can't keep my van at home. It's just not safe, and it's just too big to park where I live. But that's by the by, it's, you know, that, it is what it is. Um, so I had to go to it, it's in another, completely another county. Anyway. Another hour goes past, and I'm thinking, what's going on? It, I'll cut down to the thing, because it's getting too long. Basically, the guy mixed the details up and sent the driver where I was going, where I needed to be dropped off at, the, with the van needed to be dropped off at. He gave that address for the driver to pick us up. So I phoned, I phoned up again and complained. And they said, oh, the original uh, company has uh, refused it because they're too busy. It later perspires that I then had a phone call 10 minutes later. I had a phone call from that company that, the re that you know, because I go through an agency. Uh, I'm not going to say the name of them, the breakdown service. But... They this recovery roadside assi roadside assistance guys if you ever need them they're there. They were trying to get hold of this company that I took out the breakdown with, 
couldn't get through. Eventually, they looked it up, the details. It's by pure luck they got my phone number. Phoned me four times to check that I was all right and where I was. I didn't get home until half past midnight. I've made a complaint, don't worry. But yeah, that's, that's by the by. But the thing is, as you're going to see in the video, I've took a video of, of exactly where I broke down. It was that dangerous. Two recovery, two recovery lorries turned up. One was a big uh, seven point seven and a half tonner, which you would have thought would have been for my van because it's a big van. And the other one was slightly smaller. Now I was in such a dangerous position. These are two different companies. Bear in mind. One guy had to park behind the van so and with his lights on so we wouldn't get sideswiped. And the dry, other driver had to quickly get drag me off the road. And he was disgusted and he's actually put in a complaint as well. Because he could not believe that somebody in my condition had been left in 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 for that long where I was. I'm bang smack in the middle at an angle in this box junction. Couldn't fucking believe it. But anyway, that's that. He got me on the back, bless him. Fantastic diamond geezer named Gary. Took me back to the uh, with my partners. He couldn't get it in the back because it's it's too tight. So he's it's on the roadside. On a main road. So that's making me worry because I can't you know in case it gets swiped. Um, but yeah, it's looking, guys. You probably all got the gist. It's you know on the way back it felt spongy. The the, cl the clutch pedal was going to the floor. It's looking like the clutch has gone in the, in the van. And I've only had the, I've only been on the road twenty four hours, literally twenty four hours. I can't believe it. It's fucking shit luck, isn't it? Now he said, "I've got quotes going around. I'm looking for quotes." And guys, I'm not. Uh, I'm 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 getting quotes that stupid money. I'm getting quotes of five hundred and something pound just for the clutch. Um, and they don't do the slave cylinder because it's looking like it, everything's pointing to the slave cylinder gone. But the trouble is, if the slave cylinder, because I've done a few of these, but I can't do it now because I'm not, my health's bad. But if the slave cylinder's um, leaked internally, then it's going to be a cheap fix because it's just a slave cylinder. But no, my luck, it's probably externally leaked. And of course, you know where it's going. It's only got one place to go if it leaks externally, and that's all over the clutch and the clutch plate and the pressure plate. And then it's knackered. So I'm looking. Poor Renee is very sick, sickly. She's off the road. And um, if it's too much, then it's game over. Because I just can't afford it. Can't afford it. No, I'm not asking for any money or anything like that. I'm just saying, I just, because one quote was a thousand pound. And I told, I, I just, I had to sit down before I followed. I thought, fucking how much? You know, the, the, the kit only costs 150 quid. But it's all the labour, you see. It's about seven, eight hours labour. Uh, if I was well, if I was in better health, you know, I'd, I'd be under there jacking it up. I'd be doing it myself. I just can't do it. And, you know, I've only got a certain amount of money like like we all got. I mean, I've only, I, I've paid a thousand pound already just to, to get it all legal. The MOT, the tax, the insurance, everything. You know, yeah, I'm having a moan, but fuck it. All I, all I want to, all I want to do is just get in my fucking van, drive in it and enjoy it. You know, that's all I want to do. But, yeah. And I eventually got home, but I don't... Do you know what, guys? I, I'm not, I'm not being melodramatic. I'm trying not to be, anyway. But if it's too much money, be the end. No van life. No camper. That's it. 
I just I can't keep you know money pit you just can't oh guys sorry to have um, you know bored you or moaned or ranted or whatever but yeah I got one I phoned one guy he's going to get back to me but she can't move you know and I'm actually I'm I'm telling you what guys I am I am really disgusted with the service that I got from this breakdown company in question never have I I've been with them three years I've never ever had this and I've never had to be I've never been in this position you know so you know if you want to leave a comment leave a comment if you want to you know thumbs up thumbs down I'm not bothered but you know any feedback will be appreciated whatever with that guys um you know in your vans stay safe stay warm and uh i wish you all the best next you'll see some uh photos and a little video clip it's very very dark so i do apologize and with that guys see you later